burn there. And of course, they have lots of other things for you to do at the Wooden Shoe Tulip Farm. Uh, just a great time, especially when the weather's nice. Uh, yeah, it's been fun to kind of watch their Facebook page because they give you updates on exactly when the peak is starting and already a lot of buds starting to pop up. All right, good. Yeah. Good time to get out there. And that it is, although you want to keep the allergy medication close to hand yeah. because uh, the allergies, they are high and we'll expect to stay on the higher end of things as we work our way through the rest of this week into the weekend. There you go, the peak. That just so happens to fall on Friday with a count of about 10. That's all because of the blooms and blossoms seen across the area. Some of the views of the Portland waterfront cherry blossoms looking mighty fine over the past few days thanks to all of that sunshine. Of course, the temperatures, though, on the cooler side as we work our way through the rest of the day today. Yes, you can still go out, check them out. It will be cooler out there. It will also be gray and maybe even a light drizzle. But if anything, those cooler temperatures almost acting like a refrigerator, kind of preserving some of the flower petals that otherwise may have fallen a little bit sooner if we kept that warm and sunny weather trend going. But we are expected to move past the peak as we work our way into next week. And once April comes rolling around, that's where we expect to just see the green leaves. A live look right now out over the McMinnville areas. We keep that cloud coverage widespread across the area. Temperatures out towards PDX currently at 48 degrees. A light drizzle is coming down, but the winds on the commerce side and will remain that way for the extended hours of today. You can see it here, the green lighting up our radar in the northern Willamette Valley as we expect to hold on to the cloud coverage today. That will help to put a bit of a damper on the mercury climb, only getting up into the mid to upper 50s at best. So long are the days of the 60s and 70s, at least for the short term, as we expect to pick up on maybe a light raindrop or two as we work our way through the rest of the afternoon and evening hours today. Thursday, also expecting to see a round of a few light rain showers. It's not going to be a super soaker event by any stretch, only amounting to a couple of one hundredths of an inch to maybe close to a tenth of an inch as you head just a little bit further to the west, maybe closer to that half inch mark for some of our coastal communities as the snow elevation level still remains above about 4,000 feet as we work our way through the rest of this week and into the weekend. So that's great for the skiers and snowboarders alike as our base layer still continues to sit at a healthy level over the past 24 hours, seeing very little additional snowfall thanks to all of the sunshine we've been experiencing. But for today, you got some nice ski conditions as the snow is expected to ramp up as we work our way through the rest of the week. Now for today, it's weather whiplash for us. Only expected to get up to about 58, but just to put it into perspective, that is average for this time of year as the cloud coverage will be widespread. Tonight, expecting maybe a light raindrop or two just after sunset, falling to about 48 degrees as the winds are out of the south, southwest at about 5 to 10. Seven day forecast for you here shows that the wet weather starts to ramp up, especially as we work our way into Saturday and Sunday. Look at those daytime highs suffering, falling back into the mid 50s, as next week also brings another round of widespread rain and we will be sitting below the average mid 50s come Monday into Tuesday. It's going to be feeling a little bit more like the month of March and eventually April as that new month quickly starts to move its way back into our area as the spring season keeps a tight grip on the Pacific Northwest. All right. Thank you very much, Josh. Happening this week with March Madness going 